What's going on guys, Homesteader? I just wanted to do a, a quick video on uh, protecting your squash from bugs. Um, it's all organic here. I don't use any pesticides or anything like that. So last year we had a real issue with a, uh, uh, a, a type of larvae that gets laid right here in the bottom of the stem. And as the plant grows, the larvae matures and then the larvae end up eating up into the stem of the squash plant, but you don't know it until your squash plant's like, you know, a good sized squash plant already. So you're you're getting flowers, you're expecting squash, all of a sudden you go out there one day and they're all dead. And you look and sure enough you can see where the worms actually eat up into the root or into the uh, stalk of the squash plant. So I learned a little trick and I wanted to go ahead and share it because I don't know if any of you other guys have these issues or if you're trying to start out and try, try to save you some headache. So what you do if you take a piece of aluminum foil, um, I have this one cut, what, inch and a half, two inches. And you just take it, and that's going to be a little thick, so we're going to trim that down just a little bit more. About an inch, maybe? Yeah, about an inch. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that right at soil level of the plant. Now, this one was started indoors um, a, a few weeks, probably about a month ago, um, three weeks ago, maybe. So all we're going to do is we're just going to take it right at, like I said, right at dirt level and just kind of wrap it around like that one good time so that it goes all the way around. And that's it. That, uh, that'll keep, whatever lays the insect, I'll annotate it or put it back in, in a, when you guys see it. Whatever does it just goes right at dirt level. So if it can't get in at dirt level, it doesn't try to go in anywhere else. And then the way that it's wrapped around is... So that as the plant grows, the aluminum foil just stretches around it. And you know, in a couple weeks, once they get big enough, once you get past this early spring, uh, you don't have the problem with them. And it only does it when they're younger like this. So this is the tallest one. I'll do it on another shorter one, and uh, so that way you guys can see both. But. All right. So here it is on the smaller one. And all we're going to do is exactly the same thing. And since this one's smaller, it's a little bit easier, actually easier to do it on. So uh, we'll just take a piece of foil, we'll go ahead and tear it out here, and uh, just wrap it around like that. Try to get underneath the soil line a little bit. And uh, tear it to fit. And that's we'll protect it. it. And uh, keep it safe, that way you come out here in a few weeks and look, you're all your uh, squash won't be dead. I hope it was informative, guys. I hope you don't have the same problems that I did last year with them. Like, I lost uh, six squash plants, I think it was, uh, which was just about all of our squash to that, to that worm. So, uh, hope this will help, and have a good night.